Thank you so much to Poshmark for sponsoring this video. If you haven't caught on by now, Poshmark is one of my favorite apps of all time. I have been using it for years and I'm so excited that I'm able to share the platform with you in a new way. If you've never used the app, Poshmark is a platform where you can sell your clothing, home decor, vintage items, and more, and you can also shop other people's closets. The app is free to download and it is so easy to use and navigate and even being at college I'm able to keep up with the listings on my closet because the minute one of your items sells they send the shipping label right to your email. Poshmark makes the organizing part of my Sunday reset routine so much easier and it's definitely kickstarted my spring cleaning. Right now on my closet I have a pair of Adidas sneakers, so many pieces from Urban Outfitters, Zara, and more and I think it's just such a great way to extend the lifetime of my clothing. For those that are interested, I will have the information linked down below and Poshmark is available to download in the US, Canada, India, and Australia. So many of my global subscribers can check it out as well. Take my advice and make your spring cleaning so much easier. Link below. <laughs> love Sundays? Mm, that's kind of a lie. I like Sundays when I don't go out on Saturday nights and that's the type of weekend that we're experiencing right now. However, if you talked to me last Sunday, I probably wasn't in as good of spirits as I am right now. <laughs> I'm starting my day with a berries class, which for those who aren't familiar, berries is a workout class that is quickly becoming one of my favorites because it's a mix of cardio and weightlifting, which is the type of workout structure that I've been getting into anyway. So I really enjoy going to the classes because when I work out, I like to be yelled at and told what to do. I'm not gonna do my whole morning routine until I get back to school because I'm gonna have to shower anyway after class. So once we get back, we're gonna do a whole Sunday reset routine. It's gonna be great. Thanks for clicking on the video and let's do it. I need to check the weather. Boston weather has been all over the place. I never know if I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be 30 degrees or 60 degrees and obviously that impacts how I dress. Okay, 41 with a high of 60. That's pretty good. I feel so good right now. I love getting up early. I was such an early bird in high school and the college routine has kind of messed me up a little bit, but I'm getting back to my early morning routines and it feels good. Work outfit is on. I think we're good to go. I love these classes. Best way to start a Sunday. Can you see this? I'm still sweating. Now that I'm back at school, it's time to get my actual Sunday started and that is going to start with a deep, deep clean. My desk over there is quite the mess as you can see, so that will definitely be cleaned, but I'm gonna start with my room and that's also not looking great. I washed and changed my sheets the other day, so I don't have to do that, but I'm not only going to organize all this stuff and make my bed, but all of these surfaces, I'm gonna take everything off and wipe them down and then also so do a big vacuum session as well. I literally just forgot the word vacuum. So far this semester, I've been trying to do a really deep clean disinfect vacuum session at least once a week because I think that's partially why I was getting so sick last semester since there's just so many germs and so much dust in dorm rooms. I'm gonna throw in my AirPods and listen to a podcast while I do this. I'll start with the Aquarius Today podcast, which I listen to almost every single morning. And then I'm gonna find something from Ed Milet, who's my go to guy for informative self-help self -help podcasts. He has a bunch of episodes with The Skinny Confidential and he also has his own podcast, so I will definitely find something. Very much getting back into my podcast era and I kind of love it.
tell if it's really warm outside or if it's just really hot in my dorm, but I already changed into a short sleeve shirt. The podcast episode that I just listened to was, if I can remember which episode I listened to, I will link it down below. Definitely worth the listen. I didn't end up getting a Celsius when I went to CVS earlier because those things have so much caffeine in them and I knew that I was gonna want a coffee or two at some point today so I didn't want to load up on caffeine earlier and then crash later so we'll definitely go get a coffee in a second but I'm just gonna get myself organized at my desk a little bit as I mentioned earlier it is midterms week so I have practice tests to take I have homework to do there's just a lot going on. I know I have a practice test I can take for econ, so I'll print that and then I can do that at my desk and take it like I'm taking the actual test. And then there are some resources that I can print for my Chinese midterm, but I feel like that's a little bit more on me. So I'm gonna figure all of this out and then we'll go get some coffee. Wait, it's actually turning out to be such a nice day outside. I'll definitely go for a walk or something later because I need to be outside more. I'm trying to get some of my more mundane tasks and just less important tasks on my to-do list done first so that I can get those out of the way and just focus on midterm studying. I took my calculus midterm last week, so I have that out of the way, which is good, but I have a problem set for that same class due tomorrow, so I'm gonna start working on that now so I can have that done. I feel like that's one of the biggest and most annoying differences between high school and college is that the work itself doesn't stop even when you have midterms so like for example I have my economics midterm on Wednesday but I still have a problem set and reading due before that whereas in high school I feel like the teachers would just assign studying if you had a test coming up but that's not the case now these are the moments where I feel like I can sometimes have to-do list paralysis where I write out what I have to do and then it seems really long and really daunting, but I need to get over that and just start checking things off. Express is the number of dollars. I think that's a store of value. Yeah. If inflation is the growth rate, then deflation is just the rate of decrease of the overall price level. I think that. I know I already said this, but look how pretty it is outside. I feel like we haven't had a day this nice in Cambridge since maybe October. I've been working on my Chinese worksheet for a while and I'm almost done, but I'm getting kind of hungry again classic. It feels too late to have a big lunch, but it's too early to eat dinner and I want another coffee anyway, so I think I'm gonna walk into the square quickly and grab a snack. I can't remember if I already said this, but Emma's parents were in town this weekend. They took us out to a really nice dinner last night and Emma's been staying with them for the weekend and she just got back to campus a couple of minutes ago, so I think we're gonna take a little walk later and I'll actually enjoy the weather then, but I'm gonna make this snack trip quick. It is truly... The sounds of Cambridge. My to-do list may be as long as the Declaration of Independence, but it doesn't matter. The sun's out. The vibes could seriously not be any better right now. Not only is the weather just gorgeous, but there's live music playing in the square, there's little kids selling Girl Scout cookies, like I'm just so happy. I'm also just thinking about where I was this time last year. I had no fucking clue where I was going to college and I just dreamed for the days of early spring on a college campus and now I'm living it. <laughs> just feeling really grateful today for my life and my health and all of the opportunities that have been presented to me. Your daily reminder to practice gratitude and just keep it all in perspective because that's really powerful. Didn't really mean for that to turn into an existential little talk. All of that to say I got a coffee and a slice of banana bread from Pete's and I'm back to work.
，真好。对了，你的面试有消息了吗？So I apologize, but I just got back from the library. I didn't bring my camera or even my phone because I really just wanted to dial in and study. I keep doing this today. I don't know why. I'm gonna throw on a face mask right now as a little self-care intermission. It is 10, 15, and I'm hoping to be asleep by like midnight, 1 a.m. Fingers crossed. Face masks are the most basic form of self-care, but honestly, I'm okay with being basic because I love them. I don't even know if they do anything. I'm convinced they don't, but I just think they're kind of fun. Also, ever since I went on Accutane about two years ago, I've just stuck to the same skincare routine and the same products, so nothing really affects my skin or does stuff for my skin anymore, if that makes sense. It's kind of just maintenance and keeping up with the right products and the right routine, but don't get me wrong, I love me some skincare. Today's theme was very much a Sunday reset and I'm really doing the whole shebang for my body and my skin. We worked out, we went on that walk, which I think I need to reiterate, reiterate just how stunning that sunset was. And now I'm doing a face mask. I'm gonna take a nice long hot shower later and everything's gonna be great going into midterms week. My Chinese midterm on Tuesday is on six lessons of content, and this is just four lessons of simply vocabulary. Everyone, please say a prayer. It's already midnight, so I want to get to bed soon, but I think before I go to sleep, I'm going to try and write out the other two chapters of vocabulary and finish the problem set that I was working on, and then all of the other stuff that I didn't do today will be tomorrow's issue. Or technically today's issue. I definitely will be starting some sort of midterms week in my life vlog tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for joining me on this Sunday reset. I had such a great day. I feel like I've been saying the words great and awesome and amazing so many times today, but that's truly how I felt. Really dodged the Sunday scaries this week and honestly could not feel better about that. Thank you again to Poshmark for sponsoring this video. All of the information will of course be in the description and you should definitely check it out. I'm gonna get to work for the final final time and then head to sleep and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.